TG. I'll show y'all my bookshelf. So I say I probably started collecting books like right out of college. Like I had a couple that I was collecting that was moving with me from dorm to dorm or I leave at my mama house. Because I didn't have much space in my dorm for all my books. Um, but as soon as I graduated, uh, I think in our apartment, we kind of had some built-in bookshelf area. And so I just started filling that with, with some of my books. And, uh, and then I've settled on this beauty from Ikea. So um, yeah, just been collecting them probably for maybe the past eight to 10 years. Uh, started to get picky about certain editions and uh, the way it looks. I change it around every time I start a new series. Later, I'll probably show y'all where I'm gonna put another bookshelf. Right now, my uh, inclination is to just get another one of these. This fits um, close to almost about 200 books, I think, you know, depending on the size. So another one of those would definitely hold me for a while. Uh, it's a little dusty, you know, I try to get in there, but I might not as often as I should. But I'm gonna show y'all some of my favorite books and just kind of how I got everything organized. Uh, up here, you know, I got just a bunch of hard covers. Uh, I got my, my man, Anthony Ryan, I got my Sanderson's. Uh, I have read many more Brandon Sanderson, but uh, I recently gave those away to a secondhand bookstore uh, because I plan to get some hard covers and some leather bound editions of his. Uh, down here, I uh, got my man Jim Butcher. I'm, I already know Jim Butcher is gonna have to get his own shelf, all his own like, his own rack of just Jim Butcher because I want book like eight of 15 of this series and his, his work is great. Uh, here, you know, you got my man Rick Riordan, you got The Witcher, you got the Soul series. Uh, then at the bottom, you know, probably just kind of random assortment of things. And um, down the fifth joint, uh, a good amount of Stephen Kings are in here, but also another random assortment. Some of these get moved every time I get a new series. So yeah, I'm gonna show y'all some of my favorite books now. So Blood Song by Anthony Ryan. Uh, it's definitely gotta be one of my favorite, uh, just coming of age stories. So I think we follow, follow Valen from when he was like maybe five uh, till he turns into like a young man, uh, till he's like a, almost like a grizzled vet. Uh, at least that's where I left off before I think Anthony started the second series. Uh, but man, yeah, this is the camaraderie of his group of friends, the tests they go through, the abilities which are really cool in here. Uh, I really like Blood Song. So this is this is definitely um, a pickup. I remember he was self-published before he uh, got a book deal. And this, this is probably one of the best uh, beginning books of a trilogy that I've read. So definitely recommend Blood Song. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this book. Uh, so my wife got this for me for Christmas not too long ago. Uh, basically it has all the Chronicles of Narnia books in by C.S. Lewis. Uh, I, again, I don't remember what my first fantasy book series was that I've read, but this uh, Lion, Witch, and Wardrobe probably was one of them. Um, and I remember reading that whole series and being like, man, this is so crazy. Like I, I love imagining these cool worlds. I wish I could go to something like this. I wish my closet led to a magical land um so her getting me these books is a very it filled a very uh nostalgicalistic hole in me uh for this series and i definitely from time to time pick up this book and just go through um a boy and his horse or the last battle and read the, some of these great books uh that he wrote and just kind of reminisce on me reading that series in the beginning so um i'm sure you've heard about this series it's a great series and i definitely enjoy it so Definitely one of my gems on my, my bookshelf. I'm gonna go with this, uh, The Shining. Uh, I think you told me this was a Barnes and Noble special edition. Um, I think I remember walking around looking and I was like, yo, this just, the cover feels so great. And it's, it's really cool. And I mean, I'm about to say something that I feel like is not weird in the book community, but weird anybody else looking for me, just the smell, the smell of book. It, it has a very cool smell to it. Um, and I, I really like this book. Uh, this is probably one of my favorite Stephen King books. Like if I had to rate it like a top three, hard for me to put those three, but this is definitely within the three. Uh, it's, it's such a great book. Uh, I'm sure you might've seen one of the iterations of the movies or the sequel, Dr. Sleep, which is also amazing. Uh, but just this edition, like I love the way it feels. Obviously I love the way it smells. This is a really cool book um, that I would definitely recommend to anybody. And I love having it on my shelf. It's my bookshelf, um, some of my gems from bookshelf and you know i appreciate y'all going on this journey with me and looking at some of the books i have and 
there's so many more books I can't wait to add and it'll probably look different than this one next year. We might have to do a 2021 bookshelf update, like what your shelf look like now, um, because there might be an extra shelf and the books are gonna be rearranged and make no sense to anybody but me. So thank y'all. For me personally, I have a smaller bookshelf, um, mainly because when we started, I wanna say, so I've been reading since I was probably like fourth grade. Um, but you know, there's a lot of libraries and you know, rentals and all that kind of stuff, uh, which is dope. So if you do that, shout out to you. Um, but then I got to college and in college, um, I was into collecting books, but I kind of wasn't because I was like, I already got all these textbooks and stuff. I don't want all these books to kind of be in my book bag. So I started doing heavy Kindle. So I got a lot of books from a while ago, from starting from my freshman year that um, it's Kindle based. So uh, I'll take you through some of those real quick. Uh, but before we do that, we'll go over to my bookshelf. And I probably want to say I got some reads on there that I probably started collecting around maybe like four years ago, maybe like three or four years ago. Um, so it's a smaller bookshelf, but it's already full. So on my bookshelf, uh, some of my favorite books and maybe one or so of my prized uh, books. Uh, so for that first one, um, definitely the Harry Potter one that I'm reading, Goblet of Fire. So uh, it means a lot to me um, because currently I'm reading that to my son. He's like uh, wanting some change and obviously he don't know what I'm talking about, but um, it is a story that I enjoy. Um, growing up and so when my wife was pregnant I was reading to him like in her belly like the first book uh, second book third so now we got to the God of the fire um, and so I've been reading that to him and sometimes he'll sit down and uh, listen to me read um, and it's a it's got pictures in it so that entertains him a little bit uh, so we've been currently reading through that and it's a dope book I was just I was just like I like the paintings and the art and everything and just the author's inter or the the artist's interpretation of some of the scenes so it's, uh, it's really cool I enjoy that second favorite book on the bookshelf has to be the Mistborn series I got that last year for Christmas probably wouldn't pay that much for a book myself uh, so I usually put it on wish list uh, and so a family member bought it for me actually my wife my wife bought it for me for Christmas um, I'm just so thankful it was, it's hella dope uh, it looked like like a huge like Bible like it's a it's a, it's a tomb for sure um, it's got gold pages it's got some dope art in the front um, it's also uh, leather bound I think leather bound book so it's I like that a lot uh, so we pull that off the shelf uh, and then the final the final book uh, that we have over here is The Stand. I read this this year. Uh, on this version of the book, it's about 1,200, almost 1,200 pages. Um, so I read this one in spurts. Like there's like three parts in the book. So I probably read the first part and then hopped on another book with TG. Then once we were kind of in a lull, I read the second part and the third part. Um, this one was really good. I had it on the shelf for like, I want to say probably about five months. And then obviously COVID uh, started in March. So that's when I was like, well, I guess it's a perfect time to read about, uh, you know, some disease, you know, running through some people and, you know, so. <laughs> All right, anyway, I get the Kindle version because if I'm not in like my, you know, office or something like that, then and I just don't want to be walking around with a book. So, you know, when I have opportunities, I'll pull up and read on Kindle for my phone. Uh, so that's just kind of my workflow of reading. Uh, but, you know, as you can see, you know, I got books going back for a while of things that I've read. And um, yeah, that's my bookshelf. Uh, hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, I plan to get another one that I can fill up. It's a little bit taller and, you know, just go through the journey go through some book tube y'all you know kick it with me see what i think about the books i read and you know my biggest thing this year is whenever i get a book um if i don't like it then i'm going to take it to a secondhand store and replace it with something that i enjoy 